Aww, cute. So needs. Blackthorn, got everything you need. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Cheers for the stardust. Should be enough to be getting on with. We should go out on maneuvers together more often. Your beats sneaking around on your tud all the time. I'll make a start on putting this thermal plating together then. It'll take some time, mind. So if you've got other things to be getting on with, I could do without you breathing down my neck. Thank you, Blackthorn. I'll let Mid know construction's underway. Yelf. Suppose we'd better be getting back to work too. Give us a shout if you need anything. I love all these characters. Oh man. He cracked my crystal too. If I don't come up with my soon. You'll be pleased to hear that Blackthorn started work on the plating. Excellent. One down, two to go. <laughs> so, what's next? The helm, of course. For this, we'll be repurposing fallen scrap. Salvage from the ruins? I thought that material was all but impossible to work. Ah, but we don't have to. I'm sorry? Just so happens there's one particular ruin that's broken into exactly the right shape and size pieces for what we need. What's the name back there will be what details? What's her name? Right. Well, don't call her that, Clive. Please. Please ask her her name. Helena, okay, we got this. Oh, Sid, is this about the helm? Uh, yes. Mid said I should speak with you. I'll show you the plans then. Here you see the mithril engine in which mithril is burned to generate heat. That heat is then harnessed to produce motive force. Excess heat is dealt with by means of the thermal displacement stack, which disperses it into the surrounding air. Now, were we to rely on thermal plating alone to achieve this effect, the rate of excess heat buildup would far exceed the displacement coefficient of the plating. In other words, the reactor would overheat and eventually explode. This is where the helm comes in. It connects to the plating, you see, and serves as a sort of thermal sink to absorb all that excess energy. Our experiments have shown that fallen ceramics are remarkably thermophilic. They can withstand and absorb levels of heat far above anything we are able to make today. And not only that, they're also waterproof and immune to rust, making them the perfect material for our protective hood. Why? If sea or rainwater were to enter the reactor proper, it would vaporize instantly. The forces produced would tear the ship from stern to... You can stop there. I understand. Mid said we might be able to use parts of a fallen ruin. <laughs> Where would I find that it? That sounds horrifying. Ah, yes. It's in Lorbert's Pass near Lostwing. The thing is, well, I probably should have arranged to have the pieces we need brought here sooner. You see, a certain unwanted visitor has taken up residence there it's no longer a matter of just walking in and taking them it's um going to be considerably more dangerous than that oh i see then i suppose i'd better deal with this unwanted visitor for you would that help oh very much thank you sid i'll gather my team and head there right away we'll meet you outside the ruins great how about you i bet i have to fight one of those big Robot things. Okay, Blobbert's path then. After I pass by the move, I'll make sure. I noticed like you'll go a couple main story quests and then all of a sudden it's like, oh, side quests open up. Like, please. Don't do this. Okay, nothing, nothing. Good.
taking you all to a storehouse in the bales. Uh oh. Leave anything you don't need behind. Oh. This is from that side quest I did now, I think. I think they're trying to evacuate. Down that way? You know what you have to do. Wait a minute. I think yeah, that leads to a dead end. I have to go up. If you're ready, we leave at once. The music got more more intense too for this area. That really makes me think what would have happened if I didn't do that quest and find out they were about to get ambushed. And the, the same thing was going to happen like it did in East Pool. Oh, I, I have a lot of things to, to start looking up once I'm, I beat this game because I'm curious. No! No, Spooter! Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. You see that? That one was named Black Widow, too. Just like the one that's living right outside my back porch. BS. Oh, hi. Hi, friends. Well, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine. There's no spider. No spiders. Hi. Oh, there you are, Sid. Um, thanks so much for coming. The, uh, ruins are just over there, as is the creature I told you about, I'd imagine. Would you, uh, would you mind? Of course. I'll be right back. Who needs normal pets? As long as they make you happy, that's all that matters. And you keep them happy. Mon, thank you for not telling me. Be your unwanted visitor. Time to go. Okay. That's the wrong path. Ah. Out of the circle I go! Keep you. We'll um see that everything is transported safely back to the hideaway. All right. 
I'll let Mid know you're on your way. Please be safe, because they're planning an ambush out here. Oh, Lord, have mercy. I'm about to burst. I go back home now. Goodbye. Goodbye, world. I go home! Mike Kikowski! Oh god, no. I'm sure they will at some point when it releases on PC. I'm sure they will. Oh yeah, Joss, you say that every single time I walk by here, okay, Ming? I heard it the first few times. Mid. Helena has recovered the material for the helm. She'll be along shortly. He's, you so, hear how he said her well name? Done, well done. Cause she calls her what's her name? One remaining. Right. Right, the shield in. This one's a bit of a bugger. How so? The plating's enough to stop the engines going pop. But those things will still be spitting out enough fire to set the rest hey? of the ship ablaze. Which is why you need proper shielding. A prison for the dragon's breath that's blazing away inside. I thought a triple thick layer of tempered steel might do it. Or more of the stuff that the Fallen use, but they both be too heavy. The helm and the plating are bulky enough as it is. Add any more weight and the whole ship would be at the bottom of the briny before we'd even started. I need something light. But I've wrapped my brains and I just can't think what I'd do it. Well, if I were in need of obscure knowledge, I know whose counsel I would seek. Harpocrates. Tomes? Yeah, well, I'd thought of that, obviously. <laughs> I've got all the details written down here. Can you take this to him? See what he makes of it? Right away. Mid so cute! Hippocrates, do you have a moment? For you, Clive? Always. Well, actually, it's for mid this time. Could you take a look at this? Hmm. <laughs> Shielding for a mithril engine. Whatever will that girl think of next? What are these notes around the edges? She has some specific requirements for the materials. The shielding needs to be able to resist extreme heat on the inside, and yet remain cool enough on the outside not to set the ship alight, while also being light enough not to sink it. As you can imagine, she's struggling to find anything that meets her needs. I see. That does sound like a lot of work. I wonder if you might know of a solution, or if you might be able to search the records for one. Hmm. Perhaps it is not a different material she requires, but a different approach. What do you mean? Consider the lake we have made our home. Its blighted waters eat away far more quickly than fresh water or even brine, at timber and steel alike. And yet, we have made a home here from those very materials nonetheless. We have. But Bardolf must varnish every board twice over to keep it from rotting. And Obelisk complains that without a constant supply of... <sighs> pitch. <laughs> I see. Early Gregorian histories speak of a preparation known as Moondew. It is said to be able to resist even the most ferocious flames. Before the dragoons tamed the worms and wyverns of the realm, nobles would daub their castle walls with it in order to guard against dragon fire. So if we could recreate it... It might be applied to some material or other in order to provide the protection Mid requires. 
As to how best to apply it, and to what material, perhaps Bardolf and Obolus might be of assistance. I shall speak to them and see what wisdom they might have to offer. If you would be so kind as to procure the necessary ingredients, I shall discuss the specifics of how it might be most effectively put to use with our two friends. The knowledge of the past may yet prove useful to we of the modern era. Thank you, Hippocrates. So... And since you're asking others to help you, perhaps I should too. Are we getting this monster of a ship so we can go across the ocean and fight Odin himself? Because I don't know how I feel about this. So you need a hand, do you? We yeah. do. I'll be heading to market for the ingredients we need. I could do with some help. And some company too. The other can assist me in researching how best to prepare the shielding itself. Can we count on your aid? Always. Well, if Jill's game. Thank you. I am sure either of these fine young minds would prove indispensable in my research. I leave the decision as to who will go with whom in your capable hands, Clive. Sweet. Okay. Hi, Jill. Shielding that guards against even the most ferocious flames. We could have done with some of that on Drustinus. I doubt I would have survived that place with or without it. A trip to Northreach, though, I think either of us could handle. So, Clive. Have you made your decision? Who will accompany you on your little excursion? Jill, because I ship both of them. Very well. So then, what do we need to find? I have taken the liberty of preparing a list. Here. White chocobo eggs. Pepio nuts. Are you sure this list is right? Everything on here seems very edible. I would have thought the ingredients would be a little more exotic. Though these items may seem mundane, they have potent effects that are rarely exploited, effects for which they were once highly prized. So much so, in fact, that they were harvested almost to extinction, hence Moondews having fallen from favor. Now, of course, they can be obtained with ease. You should be able to find everything you need at the market in Northreach. Is that so? I've been meaning to visit Northreach anyway. I'll set out now. Join me there when you're ready. I will. Until then. Sweet. You two enjoy yourselves. You too, Talia. Why'd you make it sound like we're gonna get some hanky panky going on? I wasn't intending to right at this moment. This exact time and place the remainder time no. even Let's though we have on. a little less than an hour why well, i walked right out can never tell how goes the hunt for ingredients uh i've only just started i'm sure everything we need is somewhere amongst all these stalls though why don't we split up and see we'll take a couple of ingredients each all right what am i looking for how about you look for the pepio nuts and some garlic? Oh. I'll find the other things we need. We can meet by the gate when we're finished. Up. You'll not find a bruised pippin in the bushel. Fresh cuts. Okay. You, no, talk to me. What can I interest you in today? Ah, oh, yes. Is that all you have? Here in Lost Wing. I need some orchestrian rolls. That's what I need. I have like 200,000. Each orchestrian rolls like 50, 50k. Hold on. You stay there. I'm going to check. What do you have? See anything you like? Ah! There we go. I do like a customer who knows what he wants. Yeah, I want you, baby. I'm kidding. My eyes are only for Jill. Get out of here. 
buy, sell, or be gone. Go on. Take it. That's everything. Let's see how Jill's getting on. Keep them pilchers nice and chilled. Sir. Did you find everything? I did. Here. Oh, I'll do Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Garlic and pepio nuts. Perfect. Now all that remains is for Harpocrates to somehow turn all this into what Mid needs to keep her engine cool. Yeah, how are they going to do that with these? I guess we'll find out. But before we head back, would you walk with me a while? Yes. Let's go. Let's go walk. Thank you for asking me to help you today. It makes a nice change. It does. It's good to get away from all the battle and bloodshed for once. Just being here reminds me of when we were children. Do you remember walking down Market Street in Rosalith, taking in the sights and smells? <laughs> how could I forget? What with Torgal's antics? Remember how his nose would prick up at the scent of sausages? He'd go <laughs> racing away and we'd have to go running after him. We wouldn't catch you now, would we, boy? <laughs> Is there anything you wanted to buy for yourself while we're here? There was, yes. Well, sort of. Molly in the kitchens told me about a place that sells particularly good pies. Thought you might like to share one with me. I would. Thank you. Oh! And I saw some bread. Big white cobs like the baker back in Rosalith used to make. What do you think? I thought we might get some soup to dip it in. But then I tried a slice of the butcher's dry cured ham and it was just. Oh. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Sorry. I love. It's just. Oh, you're right. I really do feel like a child again. I love seeing this side of her. Clive. Is it wrong of me to enjoy this? No, what? Kiss. No, Jill. Kiss. This is how life should be. And it's how our lives will be when our work is finally done. When we can live on our own terms. I hope so. <laughs> God damn it, I'm such a wuss. Thank you, Clive. It's these small moments I really like. This is nice. Well, I suppose we better be getting back. I need to give these ingredients to Hippocrates and Talia. I'll see you at the hideaway. Take care. I will. You too. I love how softly they speak with each other. Especially him, like you can tell his t uh, the tone of voice he uses for certain people. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I wonder how Hippocrates is getting on with the moon dew. Moon Dew sounds like Mountain Dew, but with oh, less mountains and more moons. I'm never drinking again, no matter whose funeral it is. Dang. Oh, hi. Welcome back. I hope you two had fun while I was busy helping Harpocrates. Oh, don't. Why do you sound so salty? Oh, Clive, Harpocrates has all the ingredients. We were just waiting for you. What is this? This would be way too hard to read for me. Ye seas which guard about ye land of Valestia on all sides doth churn most frothily with diverse 
and deadly eye. Deadly? Deadly eye? Creatures! No, I'm not doing it. All right. How's work on the shielding progressing, Hippocrates? Well, very well indeed. And thanks in no small part to your kind assistance. I was just explaining to Taya how we might best go about preparing the moon dew. And now that we have all the ingredients, we may begin. Let's do this! You can count on me. I've mixed more than a few mysterious concoctions in my time. I don't want to know what you've been doing. <laughs> I'm sure you have. Okay. Yep. Yeah, she told us what anyway. About the shielding itself. Work is underway. Under the watchful eyes of Bardolf and Obelus. Apparently, it'll be ready soon. Thank you. All of you. Right then. Jill, would you join me in the infirmary? Many hands make light work and all that. Sure do. She's gonna be asking about oh so what you guys do you oh, um, Clive, thank you. It was nice just being with you. It appears our work here is almost at an end. How cute. A shame. I was enjoying playing the man of action for once. Shielding you already. Nami. It will merely be a matter of applying the one to the other. Followed by a rigorous process of testing and retesting, of course. Perhaps someone ought to warn young mid of that. No. Leave it to no. me. Voice Thank you, Hippocrates. <laughs> well, I'd better go and give Mid the good news then. Sorry to keep you waiting, Mid. But you'll be pleased to know that work on the shielding is underway. You found something for it. In a manner of speaking, Hippocrates knew of a substance that's highly resistant to heat. A coating that should provide the protection you need. He's supervising the construction and testing of the shielding as we speak. Brilliant! I knew you wouldn't let me down. Don't thank me. I'm just the errand boy. Right then. Better start working out how to bolt all these bits together. To the black hammer! Oh, you're not on Discord, huh? You know, when I got into the smithing game, I thought I'd be making swords and shields, not thermal bleeding didgeridoo dars. Displacement stacks. Same difference. Okay. That's the easiest way to DM me anything. Together in here. It's cramped enough as it is. Let's take this outside. Mid, you get all the parts lined up on the deck. I'll take care of the rest. On my way. Oh, and bring me the biggest salmon you can find. This is gonna require some precision wallabin. <laughs> Oh, I didn't know when the cutscene was gonna end there, so I was trying to type. Yeah, you can just post it in here. It'll it'll delete it, but I can still see it. Finished. It's finally finished. Thank fuck for that. I'll be feeling my hammer arm for weeks. Oh, okay. Thank you, Clive, Blackthorn, everyone. That's one down and just three more to go. I'm sorry. Oh, didn't I tell you? The Enterprise has four mithril engines, and we'll be needing a displacement stack for each. You don't mean. <laughs> Don't worry. Now they've got a finished one to work off, my gang in Canva can build the rest. Good luck to them, I say. Right, I'm off to get a sling for this elbow. Any other work comes in, 
Keep it to yourselves, eh? <laughs> Poor Blackthorn. <laughs> He's like, please, if you have anything else, just don't let me know. Leave me out of it. What's the matter? <laughs> Nothing. Just daydreaming. Thinking about the Enterprise sailing off over the horizon to shores unknown. Searching for a land untouched by the blight. Just like me and my dad planned. So if the worst came to the worst and every scrap of soil in the twins turned black, we might still have a chance. <coughs> That's what she was meant to be. You see, one last chance just in case we needed it. But now she's so close to being finished, I've realized I don't want her to be that. I don't want it to be just a lifeboat for us to cling to if things get desperate. I want... I want people to sail a border by choice, not from the lack of it. Aww. In a world where we're not just trying to survive, but where we can actually live. I'm working on that. So, st stop that. And I'll do everything I can to get you what you want. <laughs> I'm gonna give you a raspberry. You always... I'm gonna right. give you a raspberry. My mind's made up. As soon as the Enterprise is fit to sail, I'm putting her under your command. Sod our plans. I'm trusting in yours. Are you sure about this? <laughs> she laid back down. Something tells me it's what my dad would have wanted. He'd be proud of you. You, um... You were gonna visit his grave, weren't you? I was. And you can come too, now that your little project is finished. Right. There's just one thing I need to finish up first. Won't be a mo. All right. I'll let Otto know you're coming. Meet us in the mess when you're ready. Aye, aye, Captain. Oh! New side quest, you say? Donde? Donde? Donde esta? Is that the thing Tom's helped to build? Oh, a key. Oh, it's a plus sign, too. He said it was some sort of... Jeez. I guess I... I'm good. How you doing? It's at the reading table? No, wait. It was... I'm going to go to the reading table. And then I'm going to go to Mid's Dungeon. Why is it called that? I know. Well, just you wait. Just you wait. Crystal too. Oh. And might have come across something that might need your attention, maybe, and by that I mean immediately you know where I'll be. Trouble with the ledges. Shouldn't he be asking Otto for help? I didn't realize there were side quests in here. Clive, something ain't right with that hound of yours. When it pleases your lordship, come pay me, me a visit at the toll. What could be wrong with Togo? You seen well enough when I last saw him. Cheers for your help dragging Blackthorn out of the dumps the other day. Thing is, I reckon he's gone and thrown himself back in, judging by the droop of his jaws lately. So I'm thinking maybe it weren't just the leather that was on his mind. Maybe there's other demons driving their pitchforks into his privates. I know you're a busy bloke, but next time you find yourself free, maybe we could go and ask the old bastard what's got him so hot and bothered, assuming it ain't just the forge. Hopefully it's nothing. But I should speak to Blackthorn just in case. I know. I think I'm. I think I'm gonna end up just uh, picking them up and then leaving them be. Oh, see, there's another one down there too. Um. Okay. I didn't realize there was a shortcut this way either to get back there. 
uh, Blackthorn, we're just gonna leave you be. For now. I went up to give some greens to the chocolate. I don't think the ledger had anything in it before. Well, uh, here, Sid. Reckon you might be just the man to help me out of a bit of bother, if you've a mind to. Let's hear it. Well, it's about this alembic the chief's got me making. Lovely bit of kit it is. Bung in a solution, you want split in, and it will separate it out, just like that. Problem is, it won't always get rid of all the impurities. And with some of the stuff we need it for, that ain't good enough. Which is why I've been looking for something to filter the liquid we'll be cooking off. And that's where I was hoping you could help me out. I imagine Ty could get some use out of this Alembic too. Distilling medicines and the like. All right, why not? Proper job! So what exactly do you need for this filter? Nothing but bomb ash will do, says the chief. Gave me a sample she'd obtained from the university stores. Couldn't believe my eyes. You pour the blackest blight water through it, and it comes out clear as a mountain stream. So, I did a bit of reading about where I might be able to get hold of some. And do you know what I found out? It's only the blimmin' bones of a bomb king. They leave them behind when they die, see? Oh. I take it that's where I come in. <laughs> If you wouldn't mind. I, I, I saw a billet on the hump board for one just the other day. Would have gone myself, but, well, fighting dirty great balls of flame isn't exactly my <laughs> forte. You, on the other hand. All right. I'll see what I can do. You're breasty. Thank you kindly. And, and a good hunting, eh? Here you go. There's so much good backstory on these side quests. I feel like none of them are worth skipping. I feel like they're all worth doing. <laughs>